Have I been wearing this shirt for the past three days? Yes, but who cares? I'm barely leaving the house anyways. It's just me. Annyeonghaseyo and welcome to day 87 of lockdown in Germany. So as you already read in the title, I attempted to do a morning routine challenge for 21 days because I've already read in several different sources that it takes approximately 21 days for you to establish a new habit and I really wanted to have a more morning routine because usually I just get up, I sometimes eat something, watch TV, get ready and then go or I just lay down on the couch for four hours straight and then have lunch or whatever. And I really wanted to do something because you can't do anything. So I tried to establish a morning routine with waking up between 6 a.m. and 6.30, then doing like 20 to 30 minutes of yoga, then going for a jog. Depending on the weather, <laughs> like if it's not raining, I would go out for a jog. And if it's raining, I would just do a workout inside for like 10, 15 minutes. Then do a bit of journaling, write down a to-do list for the day. And if it's Monday, Monday. <laughs> and if it's Monday, write down a to-do list for the entire week. And then also do a bit of reading. Then take a shower, get ready, get food ready for work. If I'm not going to work, I'm not gonna get ready. Then like that's it. After showering, then I'm done for the day. I try to film myself every single day. So I'm gonna show you the result of how it went now. I'm already regretting this. I'm freezing, but it's so pretty. Look. to have my morning routine with me running outside. It's really pretty, but bruh, it's so cold. And it's just gonna get even colder. We'll go. 
Just till I get up, time is barely on our side. I don't wanna waste what's left. The storms we chase. Now I'm done with day three of my 21 day morning routine. And I'm just gonna make breakfast for work and then I'm gonna head out. See you tomorrow. We'll go through the wastelands, through the highways, till my shadow turns to sun rays. And on and on, we'll go through the wastelands, through the highways. And on done and I really didn't feel like um, taking a run also because it's been really cold it's been getting a lot more cold it's been getting colder um, and I really don't have the proper clothes to run in that kind of weather so um, yeah I only did my yoga today and I took a shower and days go on I just keep getting more tired and more tired each morning like the first um like three days of me waking up at six were fine but like yesterday and today I'm struggling so much to get out of bed and I keep like accidentally closing my eyes and I'm like fuck <laughs> I don't have a second alarm, I need to get up. <laughs> also already like 10 30 ish um but i won't consider this like my cheat day because like waking up at around like 6 a.m every single morning and on a weekend is just really tough and um yeah i've just been so tired from waking up so early like the past two days I was so done yesterday, I just fell asleep randomly in the afternoon because I just couldn't stay awake anymore.
good morning on day seven. I'm so tired and I'm in such a bad mood. Oh, sorry. But yeah, I'm just gonna go about my day, do my morning routine now, and yeah. So you could probably tell that this was not 21 days and there are a few reasons why I didn't manage to do it and I just want to openly talk about it because I've seen so many like morning routines and challenges during lockdown because yeah like everyone doesn't know what to do everyone is bored everyone just wants to do something and I feel like there are only like perfect people out there everyone is doing these challenges and it's like I did this for an entire year, I did this challenge for an entire month and this happened and they're all managing to do it and I just don't know how like as if lockdown wasn't already depressing enough then there's also people doing these challenges and mastering them and then on top of your own like trouble of being locked inside not having any social interaction you even feel depressed by watching other people succeed by being locked in their house because they're actually doing something with their time because i just felt so depressed about myself and i saw all these challenges and i i really wanted to do a challenge like that and establish a morning routine because i just felt depressed by not doing anything. I really envy all the people that managed to be productive in such a time and I know we've been in this corona phase for a year now which is crazy <laughs> like like we should try to go back to normal but then on the other side we still always have to keep in mind that this is still like an extreme situation i don't know how it is in like every single country out there but i just know that europe is also really struggling so many european countries have been in lockdown for the past like what three months and it's just crazy like we're all going insane you barely have any social interaction and you live alone like me and i'm just going crazy <laughs> okay i'm just going crazy i wanted to do this challenge to feel more productive and actually feel like i'm not wasting my time so i really tried it and the first week actually went quite well i did the challenge every single day except for saturday i woke up later because i was so tired but as the days went by i just felt more and more tired and drained every single day i don't know if it was the lockdown situation uni work whatever or if it was the waking up at 6 a.m <laughs> but in the second week i already I started to fail. I think on like the second Monday I already didn't do the challenge anymore and then I think I did it again on Tuesday and or Wednesday-ish. Not like my full routine anymore and then like on Thursday, Friday, Saturday as I'm filming this on Saturday um, I just completely stopped and like for example last weekend I was already like how am I gonna do this? How am I gonna keep on going with this challenge for another two weeks? I can't do this and I just put myself down again a lot. But like the last few days I realized like we're not all the same. Each of us is different. Not all of us can do challenges like this. Not all of us can wake up at 6 a.m. And just because someone is waking up at 6 a.m., 5 a.m. or whatever, they still don't have more hours in the day than someone that wakes up later because it also depends on when you go to sleep 
and not all of us can be productive in the morning. The point I'm trying to get across here is that everyone is different and not everyone can do such a challenge. I really thought about if I should just not mention my 21 day morning routine challenge at all because I didn't want to upload my failure. Because on YouTube and on social media, we all present ourselves so perfect and we have perfect lives and perfect lifestyles and a perfect day and we're so busy and we're so structured and organized. But it's just a lie. These are all fucking lies and I'm just so sick of it. I appreciate people that show their flaws, show their failures so much more because they actually make you feel better about yourself. Because humans are meant to fail. If we don't fail, we can't improve. Or if you're just gonna watch perfect people all the time, you're gonna keep hating on yourself. And that's, especially in times like these, it's not healthy. So I just really wanted to show that I was struggling and that I just didn't manage to make it. And it's okay, like, I'm not a morning person. I can't do challenges like this. I, but I keep trying and I feel like that's what matters the most. And in a very smart book that I read, it just said that if you really, really, really want something, then you're also gonna do it. And it's, it's gonna be hard at the beginning, but you're gonna manage to do it. So if you keep telling yourself you wanna lose weight and you like do it for a couple of days, like you work out for a couple of days, but then you just stop because you get tired of it, then you never really wanted it. I've been trying to like work out sometimes and do my yoga. I still like yoga, but not every day. Uh, I started to like do home workouts sometimes, but I just can't. I, I keep stopping because I don't care. I, I like my body the way it is, whatever. <laughs> and with this video, I just want to like help people see clear again and remind themselves that we're still in a very special situation and that it's okay to be very lazy, it's okay to be demotivated, it's okay to be depressed, it's okay to be sad. It's okay to fail if you started a workout routine and you just you're just getting tired of it after the fifth day. It's okay. Find something else, try something else. Maybe maybe it's just not for you. Maybe you need to try some yoga or maybe you do some jogging instead or maybe you just don't work out at all because internally you're happy with yourself. And I feel like that's something good. No? Can we agree on that? <laughs> I really hope I could open the eyes of the few people that might watch this, this, this video, <laughs> that might watch this video to really just not put that much pressure on yourself. And that comes from someone that pressures themselves so much that actually their stomach is giving up on them. <laughs> like I've been so stressed that I'm actually having stomach issues and I don't want you to feel the same way. So I did this video for kind of like self-help, but also to just share my thoughts about it and just show you that not everyone is perfect because like, even if I put out this 21 challenge and I mastered every single day, probably on the 22nd day, I would just stop because I'd be like, yeah, I did the challenge. I put it up on YouTube. I'm done. I'm just going to stop my morning routine. I'm going to go back to watching TV all day. And I don't want to lie because I'm, I'm not here to lie. I'm like, why? What's the point? Is there... <laughs> I am coming to a conclusion because this video is probably gonna be really long again and I'm gonna have to really edit it and I just really hope that I could help you out and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I would really appreciate it if you could give it a like and maybe comment if you also try to do a challenge like that on like how you feel about this everyone's perfect culture 
uh, or you can also message me about how you feel about being in lockdown because it's always easier to like share your thoughts and just talk with someone instead of just keeping it inside. That's it for me today and I hope you have a lovely day and I'm gonna see you in my next video. Bye bye!